What's up guys, Chrysler Forums here. Uh, I'm just going to come back with another video talking about a uh, radiator. Um, so I have this problem with uh, my radiator, I just got a new one. But I guess the plug is fucked up on it. Uh, this is the old one, obviously. But uh, the plug is fucked up and I'm trying to investigate without taking off the radiator from my car to see exactly what the problem is. But I know where it's leaking from is underneath, it's leaking from this hole. And I put in the, the plug all the way. The plug got stuck in there, basically, in my new one. So, you know, I kind of just don't understand how it's still leaking um, through here. But what I figured out is that when I pulled this plug, if you can see it, on the inside... Oh, let me see if I can get my flash on. That's not letting me. But on the inside, there, there's a hole right there. You see it? It's right in there. But that hole, um, it drains down. It drains down when the when the petcock isn't in all the way in the inside. I guess it it lets the liquid drain out and drain down. So I'm telling you, you have a problem. Like your your plug isn't in all the way, and it will come out right here on the bottom. So basically, what the problem is that I have right now is that this is the way my radiator sits in my car. It's uh. It's leaking with the plug in. It's leaking straight from the bottom, right there. So, uh, basically, I have a, uh, a bad plug on my radiator, and I didn't know it. Um, it's either a bad plug, or it's uh, it's somehow it's cracked, or there's something, you know, like along the seams or somewhere on the inside. Um, but that's what I'm guessing. That's my best shot at it. But I thought I'd just bring it to you guys' attention to let you know a little bit more about radiators because I'm slowly learning more about the internal components of them and uh, just trying to understand more. And so as I learn, you know, you guys do too. So, uh, yeah, now I know that they have a, like, it looks like a little drain on the inside for whenever the petcock is not all the way screwed into position or the plug isn't in position, then it can leak out to the bottom. And that's where you find your leaks at. So if you ever find this hole leaking right here, then you know you got a problem. Uh, but I uh, I just recently put in some stop leak into my car because I couldn't get a hold of that problem in time. Uh, you know, I was running out of sunlight, didn't have enough uh, fluid. But um, yeah, now that I know that, I feel much more secure and I'm probably going to go buy a tool to get that uh, to get that drain plug out. And then uh, once I get that drain plug out and put a new one in, hopefully it stops leaking. But if not, it uh, looks like I'm going to just be buying a whole new radiator. We're having them replace it. So, yeah. Stay tuned.